Hey, I'm Daniel with Android Central and we are in Las Vegas for CES 2019 and we just went hands on with this, the Snapdragon 855 reference device from Qualcomm. And while we've already brought you a little bit of information about Qualcomm's upcoming flagship SoC slated to hit devices like the Galaxy S10, the OnePlus 7, and many others in the coming months, we had an opportunity today to benchmark this reference device. And without getting specifically in the weeds, though, if you wanna see some numbers, hit up our link in the description below and subscribe while you're there. Uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about what you can expect from the Snapdragon 855 when it hits devices later this year. So this is probably the biggest generational leap we have seen since the Snapdragon 820. From the Snapdragon 810 to the 820, that was a really, really big jump. And the uh, going from the Snapdragon 835 to the 845 was, you know, 20, 25% average uh, improvement on benchmarks like Antutu, like Geekbench, like GFXbench, um, and many others. But what we're seeing here is amazing. We're seeing 40 to 75% uh, improvement in almost every single benchmark. And what Qualcomm's saying is that because of all of these things that they put in place, from the new Prime Core to the more powerful efficiency cores to the stepped up normal performance cores, we have a lot of different things in place that will ensure better performance from all of the devices running on the Snapdragon 855. Not to mention the fact that we have a much faster Hexagon DSP and a much improved Spectra ISP for image signal processing. Now, that Hexagon DSP is interesting because Qualcomm also offered us the opportunity to benchmark a bunch of AI tests to show where they're leading ahead of Huawei's Kirin devices and even Apple's um, A-series chips. But we decided not to really focus on those because those benchmarks are not standardized yet. There are so few ways that you can compare apples to apples for AI uh, benchmarks, we are gonna hold off until we have a better testing bed to facilitate those. But right now, what we can say is that when you get a device later this year with a Snapdragon 855, you're gonna get insanely good performance across the board, and this is gonna be one of the biggest updates that we've seen from any Qualcomm GPU, SOC, CPU, GPU in many, many years. So just wanted to give you a quick update there. Again, hit up our link in the description below for all of those numbers. And we are here all week at CES 2019. So stay tuned for lots of videos from Android Central. My name is Daniel Vader. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.